Gather round now, children. It's Baka story time. Oh, what is this? It looks like a pear. Let's have a taste. Oh. That is so freaking good. Oh wait, it's a peach. So firm too. I could probably put it in a sock and beat my grandson with it. That son of a bitch deserves it. And then, all of a sudden, a giant peach appeared right in front of the old granny. Whoa, look at that giant peach. I could probably kill my grandson with that. <sighs> Man, the shank's so heavy. What's inside of here? A child or something? Honey, I'm back from the Bunny Ranch. Or, I mean, my job at Starbucks. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Anyways, welcome home, honey. Look what I found in the river today while doing the laundry. It looks like a giant peach. How about we, you know, light it on fire and watch it burn like the olden days, huh? Uh, I don't think we should. There might be a small child in there or something. No, I don't think there's a small child in there because I stuck a needle in it and blood didn't come out or- I knew there was a small child in there. I knew it. I'm always right, honey, but you never listen to me. Now, uh, if you don't shut up, you won't get any from me tonight. And so, the old couple took in their child and raised it as their own. They fed him, put a roof over his head, and, well, fed him some more. He was a helpful child, too. He'd help his dad gather wood, take the wood home, and he'd also play with his friends. And when he got bored of being a human, he became a robot with rockets for feet.